There is a story that my grandpa used to tell me. Whenever he told me the story, I was a kid, but I knew it was a fairy tale. I knew there is no such thing like the legendary gemstone that has been handed down from generation to generation in my family. He told me that story over and over, especially when he eventually got hospitalized at the hospice. He was already in the late stages of liver cancer. I remember he was laying on the bed with a pale face and repeating, I remember this gemstone. At the end of the day, when I'm no longer here anymore, the story should be something left in your heart, whether you like the story or not. All that will remain is the story, and if you do keep in mind the story, I'm good with that. He also added being forgotten is so strange. Now I'm blaming myself who decided to take all these unnecessary challenges. I used to start everything on the spur of the moment. I shouldn't have found this map. I shouldn't have remembered the story. He was right. The story just hit my head out of the blue when I was driving down the ghost city in the dawn. I don't know. Maybe it's not because of me being spontaneous. I might have been trying so hard to avoid feeling the emptiness of his absence in this world. I should just admit it. I should just admit I've been unconsciously thinking of this story engraved in me. He had been telling me the way how I can find him later after he's gone. I realized how my grandpa had shown me the way of reminiscing about him and wanted me to do so one day. I've been missing him. Someday, I may become a mom who tells my children or even my grandchildren the same story about the gemstone as my grandpa did. They may not believe me like I didn't. I feel like something that has been pushing down my stomach is now gone. This is the end of my journey to find the legendary gemstone.